Uh, we look forward to further interactions with you this evening. And uh, once the presentation is done, you will get a fair idea of uh, what are the major attractions in Karnataka and uh, uh, what exactly uh, we can work on or collaborate on together. So with this, I hand it over to uh, Ram Prasad to make the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. We'll continue with the presentation. I would request no question answer after this. Very good evening to all of you. In fact, it's a pleasure to be here in Mumbai. We from Karnataka have come here to have a relationship with uh, people from Maharashtra. First of all, I thank our Secretary Srimadhi Salma Mera for giving this opportunity to conduct this road show in Mumbai and making us to excel in our field with their true presence and inspiration. Thank you, Madam. I also thank all the participants for being interested in Karnataka. In fact, Karnataka is one of the richest state in terms of culture and heritage. However, equally, Maharashtra is also very, very rich in culture and heritage and eco-tourism sites. So we will be happy to interact with you and have a mutual relationship in promoting tourism in both the states. In fact, Karnataka inherits sharing the boundaries of Maharashtra and Karnataka. We share culture, we share cuisine, and we share people movement across the borders. So in a way, part of Karnataka has the uh, erstwhile British uh, ruled Mumbai Karnataka region. So we are sharing the history too. So with this few words, I wish to start my presentations. In fact, we have uh, already played a lot of videos. Pictures speak better than words. Still, we want to emphasize certain, certain points and address your concerns how to make best use of this opportunity for the growth of your business. Once again, I welcome all the stakeholders, especially the tour operators and travel agents and various uh, tourism related activities uh, stakeholders for this evening. So, let me start with our uh, rich natural beauty. We have 30 natural uh, wildlife sanctuaries and national parks and hill stations, 17 hill stations. Out of that, we have a core which is known as uh, coffee growing area and Chikmagaluru, that is also one of the upcoming hill stations. And we have Sakleshpur, which is also upcoming uh, destinations in hill stations. Hopefully, uh, it's like Lonawala of Maharashtra. We have our own hill stations. And we have uh, about uh, beaches similar to Maharashtra, Mumbai. We have beaches, about 320 km beaches, and the very serene beaches. We will see it in detail. We have rich biodiversity of 600 species of bats and waterfalls, which is scenic in nature, and also a uh, lot of attractions around the waterfalls also being planned. And we know the cultural and heritage dynasty of uh, Karnataka. And all the dynasties who were ruled in Karnataka, they have left their remnants as mark of heritage. We have rich heritage of Hoysala and Vijayanagara and Udaya dynasty. These three places, the three dynasties have left their heritage places in Karnataka in a significant manner. That becomes our tourist attractions. Next. As I told this, Vijayanagara Empire has left the hemp heritage, which is one of the UNESCO World Heritage, have been declared and maintained for the last 20 years. They are very, very terrain manner. And we have a recently declared Belur Halibet Fondakura temples, which is in uh, very, very good shape now. And many visitors are coming up with upcoming destinations. Our tour operators and travel agents can promote this destination because it's recently declared UNESCO World Heritage Site and we have wonderful uh, opportunity to promote tourism in those areas. And we have Patadakal group of monuments. It is very, very rich in uh, cultural heritage and architectural heritage. You see all the Dravidian architecture and uh, Vyasara architecture and mixed with architecture of both 
North Indian and South Indian architecture being there in multilateral movements. So in a way, if you visit Karnataka, you can look into both Nagara, Dravidian and Vyasana style of architecture in all the three places of Karnataka. So those who are loving heritages can always, always visit these heritage sites in uh, ecotourism sites also. In a way, it is not necessarily a heritage uh, tourist destination. You can couple your package along with your ecotourism destination so that a yeah, family can move around the places and have a wonderful visit during Karnataka stay. So we have rich western guards, as I already told, this Chikmagalur, Chattaispura, Kur, and many other hill stations in Uttara Karnataka are also being located in western guards and is having very pleasant weather all across the year. So anytime people can uh, have a uh, hill station visit in Karnataka, unlike Himalayan hills, the sea are more uh, accessible during 365 days. Next. And we have uh, protected monuments, state monuments, this Badami, which is closely having inherited cave temple structure of uh, your Maharashtra. So people can see how the cave temple has grow, grown in its uh, evolution. We have I hold, Chitraluga, many other places. And northern part of Karnataka, which is Hyderabad, Karnataka, we call uh, other way. Now recently renamed as Kalyana Karnataka, we have Bidar, Vijayapura. Vijayapura is one of the rich city in Karnataka, which is having a lot of sultanate uh, kind of architecture. And the city itself is a heritage monument. The entire city is covered with many monuments. And we have Jain architecture, Trilogola, which is uh, recently Baha Kumbha Vishaya has been done. And we have similar kinds of Jain temples in Bangalore region. Uh, the such one such uh, uh, one such Jain temple is getting this holy 12 years uh, Kumbha Mela that also will be an attraction for the Jain community living in Maharashtra. And Sri Rangapatna is once again it's a port architecture of our Tipu Sultan. Next. The good point is that all these heritage sites have been coupled with the scenic sites, be it a beach, be it a hill station, be it a uh, Eagle Tourism Wildlife Destination. For example, Mysore is being linked with uh, Nagarhole and uh, Kabini Reservoir and it's one of the best selling uh, Eagle Tourism Destinations which you can sell it to your uh, customers. Uh, and we have uh, beaches. So once you visit a hill station like a Kur or in uh, Chikmangaluru, they can always uh, go down and explore the beaches also. In a way, hill station and couple, uh, beaches can be coupled. And we are developing is recently the two three beaches like Marvante Beach, Rasi Marvante, and Mood Bizre, Body Bizre Beach. These are very well known destinations, upcoming destinations, and scenic locations. Next, as I told, uh, these wildlife, desti uh, wildlife destinations are one of the attractions, and we have a uh, uh, evergreen forest in Western Ghat that has been blessed with the Tiger Sanctuary in Bandipur and Nagarbole. And in North Karnataka, Uttar Karnataka, which is closer to Goa border, there is a uh, Dandeli wildlife sanctuary, there is also Tiger Reserve. So we have Bad Sanctuary in Shirangapatna near Mysuru. And we have a lot of jungle safaris which is being organized by jungle largest uh, in a very, very eco sustainable manner. Next. And coupled with this uh, ecotourism sites, we have also planned packages of adventures, be it a water sport, be it a uh, other uh, sports activity, hill uh, trekking, then other adventurous activities being coupled with the hill stations and uh, uh, coastal destinations. And we have a lot of golf grand, a uh, lot of uh, in Bangalore, in Kur, in Bangalore we have a lot of golf uh, course, so which can be promoted for luxury tourism. And all along the coastal regions and the hill regions, we have rich wellness uh, resorts which is offering uh, the products for uh, uh, the luxury end customers and middle luxury customers. That can be planned. Generally, Kerala, the state is promoting more of wellness tourism. In fact, so we have a lot of rich uh, Ayurvedic culture. In fact, we are hosting many colleges, Ayurvedic colleges, and the expert uh, trained therapists are there in our resorts, and they are giving good care and treatment. That can be also promoted for the luxury and tourism and we are also having a one luxury train which is now we are uh, planning to reincarnate and uh, start the uh, 
packages in coordination with our IRCTC. In next upcoming incident day, it may be started, so that may be one of the products for you to offer. You are saying yes. Uh, interestingly, we have surfing in coastal Karnataka. Coastal Karnataka. We are also planning to start a surfing institute in our Marvante beach. So those who are loving surfing can be promoted to coastal part of Karnataka. And other significant aspect of tourism of Karnataka state is that we have a lot of cultural uh, festivals. The most well-known festival is Dasara. It is a festival which is being uh, started way back in uh, Vijayanagara dynasty. The origin of Mysore Dasara is Vijayanagara dynasty, which started in Hampi. During the Dasara time, all the international level dignitaries used to, diplomats used to come uh, to Hampi and uh, the royal Kishnadevara used to host the party for them. The same tradition has been uh, continued in Mysuru region, in the Odaya uh, dynasty. Now, of late, the Mysore Dasara become more famous than that of Hampi Dasara uh, due to the historical lineages. Over now, uh, one of the best selling events in Karnataka is Mysore Dasara. It happens during Vijay Dasmi in the month of October every year. It's a very uh, annual event, so you can plan for that visit. In fact, during the Dasara, there will be a lot of crowd, and you need to have advanced booking. And this Dasara event can be coupled with uh, the nearby eco tourism destinations like Kabini and Nagarbole and other uh, hill stations like Kool. So it is a, it's a package which you can plan like 5 days, 7 days package. And we have a lot of hill bridge, hill uh, cultural heritage, be it Dolu Kunita or any other things. Uh, we have a lot of uh, events happening in the night. And we have Hampi uh, by night where there is a uh, curated uh, light and sound show. For one or two days you can plan for Hampi. So in fact, we are also planning to uh, bring more like, sound like show in other historical destinations like Patarakal and uh, other places. So that may be an offer for uh, your tourist uh, clients. In addition, we have a rich uh, traditional sport in coastal Karnataka. Every year, uh, post monsoon, we have Kampala festival. It is a celebration of uh, the farmer and uh, animals in a sportive way. Like uh, we have a boat festival in Kerala, we have Kampala festival in the coastal region of Karnataka, which is uh, one of the spectacular events. Recently, we have an uh, event uh, have been planned in urban uh, ambience like my Bengaluru. So, we have created a recreated an event similar to coastal Karnataka Kampala event have been done in Bengaluru so that urban tourists, urban travelers can have an uh, experience of the Kampala. So similarly, we have a lot of craft items. Generally, the tourists who are willing to travel or who are traveling frequently, they always take to this kind of mementos for their family and uh, friends. So lot of sandalwood crafts and chandapanda toys is one of the gay tag products. And we have a lot of other bidri uh, crafts in Bidar. Everywhere you go to Karnataka, there is one kind of other uh, spectacular craft will be available. And series uh, for ladies, there is a lot of series that have been locally uh, made series are available, which is unique in style and color and appearance. But that can be one of the takeaway from Karnataka. So those who love shopping in a candy crop and uh, seri, Mysore silk seri uh, and other series, Murkalmo series and uh, Ilkal series, these are the three varieties of series which is very famous in Karnataka. So ladies and other shopping lovers can love to hold uh, hands. And we have a Buddhist tradition, Dibajin settlement. And uh, Karnada is one of the secular states which supports all the religion. In fact, uh, we have a lot of Buddhist sites also. In Gulbarga, uh, in northern uh, coast of Karnataka, we have a, a Buddhist site which is ancient and Sarnath temple. So Sanadi, it is called Sanadi. So those people who are interested in such Buddhist monuments can be promoted to Karnataka. And apart from that, Mysuru Dosa and Mysuru uh, Bola, Mysuru Pak, it's all the new dishes or uh, traditional uh, trademark dishes of uh, Karnataka originated dishes, which is prevalent in southernmost part of Karnataka. Similarly, the northern food culture, that's uh, Hyderabad Karnataka food culture is unique. 
and there is a Central Karnataka, Darwad based Karnataka, Mumbai Karnataka food. It's all uh, pulse based and ragi based food available uh, in Karnataka. That may be uh, one of the uh, attraction for uh, travelers. And we have cultural heritage with Yaksadana. You would have seen the recent movie of Kantara, where this, movie, this tradition has been well uh, portrayed by Shetty. And it's become the box office hit. The first uh, regional movie become box office hit is our uh, Kantara movie. It is because it reflects the true culture of Karnataka. In fact, during our G20 events, we used uh, this Yashadona uh, artist. He a very, very white manner so that our culture gets promoted. And a lot of foreign delegates were very, very delighted to uh, uh, see the performance of the Yashadona artist. Next. So already I have talked about this. We have a serene, untouched, blissful, natural beauty. That much I can give in a very, very simple word. So those who are natural lovers can always, the main destination should be Karnataka. Unfortunately, we are uh, not willing to open it up to many uh, crowded tourists. But that become our bottleneck. Now we have realized we have off late. We should promote sustainable tourism and we are now promoting more of uh, eco-tourism based on wildlife destination. So we have a very deep jungle properties of jungle artist research which is exclusively uh, created to promote sustainable tourism in forest regions of Karnataka. It is one of the unique organizations in the entire country I can say probably. Because uh, in forest accessing a private player will be very very difficult. But being a government organization we have given a, a very classic facilities and uh, experience of ecotourism in the deep jungles. So your general largest can be one of the forte which your the travel agents and tour, tour operators can always pick up. Of course people may say that it is a little higher side, but I feel that compared to the private rates, uh, the class which we are giving, the rate is very very nominal. So you can promote the general largest products because they are always coupled with activities. It is not about selling the rooms, it is also selling about the products and activities. Next. So these are the scenic waterfalls, you know the Jom Falls. We are uh, coming up with a rope and other water sport related activities and like adventure related activities in Jom Falls, which is situated in Shimoga. And you know the good point about Karnataka is that we have many airports and which is very much accessible. Unlike other areas where there is less infrastructure, uh, Karnataka has many infrastructure to access these kinds of natural beauty without disturbing the natural beauty. Next. So as I told uh, hill stations, this coffee is being uh, extensively grow, grown. That is one of the important uh, uh, traditional drink, Mysuru coffee and the, the Cafe Coffee Day, which is the chains of uh, coffee shops uh, in across uh, India and the globe, is originated in Karnataka. Many people may not know, but uh, that is a fact that CCD is uh, based out of uh, Karnataka and it is directly procuring the rich coffee beans from uh, the Chikmagluru and supplying all across the globe. So your people can get to see the coffee growing belt and how it is being grown. It is a unique plant, unlike your uh, tea. Next. No, go back. As I already emphasized the point, this Saklesh Pura is one of the upcoming destinations. We have wonderful properties that have come up in uh, Sakeshpura in a very, very cost-effective manner. Those who are not affordable to cool, which is already a uh, little higher side, they can always access to uh, Sakeshpura. And in Kodachadri also, Kodachadri, we are coming up with a lot of uh, ropes and forest related activities. So you can plan for these other destinations other than cool, which is well known. But other lesser known destinations are also equally selling out. And uh, the travel agents can make make, uh, make more margin out of this uh, lesser selling, uh, less known, not lesser selling, less known destinations. So please promote this uh, upcoming destination to your clients. So you will get a better margin and we will get a better clients. Next. So this is one of the monolithic structure which is Rana Caves. It is in Uttarakhand district. In fact, I was here working in Uttarakhand as a uh, chief executive officer. And Uttarakhand is uh, rich in very, very uh, rich in uh, biodiversity and the falls, people can uh, take bath in many small falls which is very, very 
uh, unaccessible to uh, common people, but uh, the tourists nowadays we are uh, making it to accessible. So they can access it and have a natural scenic place in uh, Uttaragada. And Uttaragada we have a Kunta beaches. Now the people who are visiting uh, Goa, uh, because Goa is the kind of mass scale beach destination, but whereas uh, in Karnataka we have classic uh, tourist destination. So this is an uh, explored, unpolluted, serene beaches, and we have blue flag beaches in Karnataka, in Udupi district and Mangalore district. And Uttarakhand is one of the destinations. We have a Kumta, that cool, uh, Kudle beach, and Om beach, having a very famous, well-known uh, temples like Mudeshwara temple and uh, Mahabaleshwara temple, Gokarna temple. These are the temples uh, across the coastal region, like Mugambika temple. So those who are having exposure to uh, these beaches can also have a very uh, religious uh, looking, though it is not equally matching, but they can have a plan uh, uh, that kind of visit. Next. As I already discussed a lot about this one, so we are very uh, unique in our cultural uh, aspect as well as our, our food aspect. So the food lovers can very well uh, come to Karnataka and have their taste buds uh, enriched. Next. Yeah, we spoke about this. Next. Yeah, apart from this kind of uh, experience, your travelers can also have an experience of city-based tourism like Mysore and Bengaluru. Uh, like western based uh, uh, pub system, pub, uh, that kind of breweries are there. Next. Yeah, Bangalore is an IT capital. We have a gardens, nightlife, food, music, startup, what not you want for urban life. We have uh, products in Bangalore and Mysore. Next. Yeah, next. So I have sent you microbreweries are more. And pubs and clubs are there. Next. Yeah, Mysore Palace well-known destination, it's still uh, the popular destination in Karnataka, you can promote it, next. Dasara spoke about it, yeah, next. Yeah, this is one of the important points uh, which you can uh, inform your clients. This, uh, all the parts of Karnataka have been, have been connected with the airports. In fact, I was in infrastructure development department along with Madam and she was the chief secretary there. So they have developed uh, many such airports under leadership of Madam. So Gulbarga Airport and uh, uh, Shivoga Airport, uh, these are the new airports have been developed recent past. Bidar also is an operationalized. So you have a well connected uh, region. So those who are travelling need not spend much time in travelling by road. They can always take the uh, air route. In fact, they have a good uh, maintained, well maintained national highways and state highways, apart from the waterways. So you have a place all across the world. Those who are landing in any other cities like international travellers, we can always route it to the Karnataka. And in fact, Karnataka is one of the safest places and long waterways, zero incident. And it's a very, very uh, tranquil state, I can say. It's very peaceful in nature. People are also very, very peaceful and very comfortable and hospitable people. Yeah, this is recently inaugurated by our Prime Minister. Next. So I already spoke about all these uh, products, especially this rafting I have not mentioned. So in fact, KSDD is one of the premier institutions in Karnataka, which is government sponsored organization, which is operating many tour packages, so you can explore those tour packages and plan for uh, uh, your clients. Next. Yeah, next. Yeah. I think we have almost covered, so I will end it here because it's time for giving thoughts for your food and food for your thoughts. So let us, in fact, uh, we should be able to appreciate the importance given by our secretary madam for meeting you people and uh, motivating us to do well in our uh, road show. So this shows our importance uh, given to our department and our stakeholders. Especially we see you as a partners in success and we wish you all the very best for your professional success as well as personal success so that we grow together. So welcome all, you, all of you again. Thank you. Art form called Yakshagana. So we believe sir batane se kuch nahi hoga, dikhana bhi padega. And kisi liye aap sabhi ke saamne we are presenting the traditional dance form Yakshagana on stage. Our young Yakshagana artists. Please put your hands together.